Sterlite Copper is a unit of Vedanta Limited, which is part of Vedanta Resources PLC UK, one of the world's leading diversified natural resource companies. Vedanta is a London Stock Exchange listed metals and mining major with a turnover of exceeding $13 billion. Vedanta is basically into metals like copper, aluminum, iron ore, zinc, silver, lead and also into uh, commercial power as well as oil and uh, gas. The company has got operations in India, Africa, Ireland and Australia and has a workforce of more than 30,000. Vedanta Group's business primarily involves exploring, extracting and processing minerals, oil and gas and commercial power. Tutukudi is one of the major port cities of southern India, traditionally known for pearl diving. Hence, the city is known as Pearl City or Muttanagar in Tamil. Tutukudi is also famous for salt production, fishing, power, chemical industries and other related business. Sterlite is a flagship company of the Vedanta Group and its copper division based in Tamil Nadu was set up in the year of 1996 with an investment of 3,800 crores. Sterlite Copper, with its wide spectrum of sustainable development policies, has been working for the overall economic, industrial and infrastructural growth of Tutukudi. Sterlite Copper adopts an extremely energy-efficient and environment-friendly technology for all its manufacturing process. The entire process is integrated and fully automated. The main raw material for copper smelting, copper concentrate, is sourced from various mines across the world for its operation. Sterlite's copper smelter is based on ISA smelt process, which is the state-of-the-art technology supplied by Glencore Technology Australia, a world leader in copper smelting technology. The ISA smelt furnace is a vertical shaft type furnace completely lined with refractory into which copper concentrate is charged along with quartz and limestone for smelting. As a result of the chemical reactions that take place in the furnace, the copper concentrate gets converted into two products, namely copper rich material called mat and non-copper bearing material called slag which is known as ferro sand. Mat and slag are taken to the rotary holding furnace where the slag separates out due to differential density. The copper mat is transferred to Pierce Smith converter for further enrichment into blister copper in two stages. In the first stage called slag blow, most of the iron and a small quantity of sulphur is oxidized and removed. In the second stage, called copper blow, sulphur is removed as sulphur dioxide to get blister copper. Converter slag is treated in a slag cleaning furnace for further recovery of copper. Blister copper is then transferred to anode furnace for further refining by oxidation and then by reduction to achieve 99.7% copper purity and cast as copper anodes. Gases produced during smelting and converting are fully recovered and converted into sulfuric acid. The refineries convert copper anodes to electrolytic grade copper cathodes of 99.99% purity. The unique feature of ISA refineries is its capacity to ensure consistently high operational efficiency and product quality. During the electro refining process, Precious metals like gold, silver and platinum present in the anode settle down at the bottom of the cells along with other impurities such as anode slime. This anode slime is further leached to recover copper and filtered, dried and bagged. The leached slime is exported for recovery of precious metals. Sterlite copper has two continuous cast copper rods units 
one at Tutukuri and the other at Silvasa, Dadra and Nagar Haveli. The continuous cast copper rod CCR plants are based on technology and equipment from continuous Propozzi, Italy. The plants have total annual capacity of 240,000 tons. Copper rod is coiled in an orbital laying form to ensure freedom from entanglement while uncoiling by the customers. Each coil is compacted, strapped and wrapped with polyethylene wraps and stretch wrapped to prevent contamination with dust and ensure excellent arrival condition at the customer's end. The sulfur dioxide gas generated in the smelting process is captured and converted to sulfuric acid in the sulfuric acid plant. The technology of this plant is supplied by Chemetics Canada and has a designed capacity to produce 1.3 million tons of sulfuric acid per annum. Part of sulfuric acid is used to produce a value-added product called phosphoric acid, which is the major raw material for fertilizer industries in India. This process involves reaction of sulfuric acid with rock phosphate sourced from Middle East countries to produce phosphoric acid. Technology and basic engineering has been supplied by Hydro Agri International UK. The plant has an installed capacity to produce 230,000 tons of phosphoric acid per annum. Phosphogypsum and silicic acid are generated as byproducts during phosphoric acid production and the same is sold to downstream industries. Sterlite Copper is committed to ensure zero tolerance towards safety, environment and governance. Be one of the largest single location copper producers in the world at lowest cost. Ensure all resources for long-term sustenance. Continuously upgrade technology to ensure high quality products and services to sustain market leadership and surpass customer expectations. Touch and transform lives of the community. Create a workplace that respects and values all employees and promotes innovation. Develop downstream industries in line with Tamil Nadu Vision 2023. Need for more power implies that the nation is advancing. These advanced expressions are inevitable with the breakthroughs achieved in every field. In order to keep up with growth, which is unstoppable, the nations strive to produce increased amount of energy for the increased usage. Sterlite Copper, the Copper People, are now into power production, facilitating the nation to set its march up on the scale of expressions at par with the first world countries. The overall environmental performance enhancement has been initiated in the areas of raw material consumption energy use and conservation, water consumption and conservation, biodiversity, emissions, effluents, waste management, ozone depleting substances, climate change, environmental compliance, products and services, and environmental expenditure. Maintaining exceptional health and safety performance is given prime importance at Sterlite Copper. Both the permanent employees and contract staff receive safety training before they are entrusted with any responsibility within the company premises. Sterlite Copper follows the Lost Time Injuries Frequency Rate LTIFR index system for evaluating the safety performance. Sterlite Copper organizes various training programs with an objective to achieve a minimum of two man days of training for every employee. All contractor employees at Sterlite Copper receive online safety training designed by DuPont USA. Sterlite has identified five areas to focus its corporate social responsibility CSR. Women empowerment, education, health, agriculture and infrastructure. In a nutshell, here is Sterlite Copper, which is not only a responsible corporate citizen that takes care of investors' needs alone, but includes the locality, community, environment and society under their stakeholder umbrella and marches successfully towards a strong nation-building exercise.